Hello everyone, it's Maureen. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Velvet Caviar iPhone 11 Pro Max case and a screen protector that I ordered. This is not sponsored by Velvet Caviar. I used my own money to buy this uh, cases. Before I start, I just want to tell you guys that I am using the Canon G7X Mark II right now, right here. My other camera right here on the other side. You know, to compare, to see the difference between my old camera and the new camera right here so you tell me guys what's the difference and you tell me what you think too if i'm going to keep this camera or not because you're the one who's watching this video so i need more brains to decide if i want to keep this camera or not leave a comment down below share to me what you think again today we are going to be unboxing the velvet caviar iPhone 11 Pro Max cases, I bought two and then a screen protector. So we're gonna test that today. Without further ado, here it is. Let's rip this open. Oh God. There is this two boxes, this uh, screen protector. So they have a thank you uh, kind of card here. Oh, this is the receipt. So we're just gonna start with this. Okay, let's talk about the packaging. This packaging is simple, pretty yet protective. And then there is the information at the back. Bottom there, there is also a velvet caviar branding. To reveal what I got from Velvet Caviar, this case. So let's unbox this. Yes, this is the butterfly. Of course, it's a butterfly, so it must be a butterfly. <laughs> and inside also, you will see a an upgrade for your phone that doesn't require a download. So there is a plastic on the case. It says. If buttons are stiff, stretch me. Thank you for choosing us. We've got you covered. Designed in New York City, made in China. If you guys can see that. Mm. There's more information inside. It feels really sturdy can't feel the butterflies right there so i guess it's printed on the material it doesn't have any smell oh wow so they have a branding there that says velvet caviar and then a crown this case looks so good with our gold iPhone. It looks realistic, but you, again, you can't feel the print there. You can't feel the printed butterfly there. All the sides are protected. What I observe is this right here the lip in the front is super high that i could feel it so this is really new to me of how many years of um unboxing cases this is the first time that i've seen a case that is really high so you see this i already screenshot something without Noticing it, let us play a song here. So turn off the screen, turn on the screen, volume up, volume down. So it's super soft. Okay, so let's move on to our next case. <laughs> Why do I do this? <laughs> and I'm gonna reveal the second case that I got from Velvet Caviar. It is 
this love coffee so that's why I got this I got all the clear ones so that I can show my iPhone color especially in the summer so this is super cute guys And then, oh, let's try taking it off with these nails. I am, wait, I am impressed. Really easy. Wow. Super easy. So let's try the coffee, please, uh, case. This is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> Love it! You can make a thumbnail right here. Wow! Oh, I haven't talked about the camera. They have a really high lip there too on the camera. So I understand now why people are suggesting this case. My first impression, it is very sturdy. It's so easy to snap on and off your phone. And it has really protective front right here for the screen and also the camera. Plus, the price is only 30 bucks. Though for some people, it's kind of expensive, but to compare it to Apple cases, this is more affordable. You can actually add a pop socket or any phone grip to control and not to drop it. This is shock absorbent. If you drop it, this will protect your phone. I think this is similar to the spec case that covers all around the phone. Feel like this will last for two years more except I have to change my phone in the next four months. And plus, the best thing about this case is the price is really reasonable. If I compare this with a leather case from Apple, I think I'd rather get this instead of the leather case because the leather case doesn't have a cover on the bottom. It doesn't have enough uh, protection on the screen and not enough protection on the camera and it's not shock absorbent. When I check on their website, some other cute stuff there are sold out. These are the ones that I saw that it's cute. And it's clear too. I don't have that much of cases that is clear and has designs um, except the one that I really like from Casery that is the flamingo so yeah there's my review and first impression of the velvet caviar cases and i hope you guys like it yeah i like it too it's super cute and durable and i think i'm gonna start using this here are the cases i love these cases right here i'm definitely not gonna buy a case again not until i get my new phone so yeah i love these cases um, the only thing that I kind of like awkward about this case is this really high lip since I'm going to be using this a lot I might get used to the high lip especially when you're swiping it up like that it's kind of like on the way I'll get used to it so the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, install this iPhone 11 Pro Max screen protector and the video is going to be in here or in here we have the screen protector a wipes one which is a wet and wipes two is a dry and then a guide sticker dust absorber I have a screen protector here, but this is not as good as the one here. It's not a tempered glass, so we're gonna take this off. 
example, that's why I got the tempered glass because if I drop my phone and I step on it, the screen will not get cracked. There's no instruction here. Oh, there's just this visual instruction. So let's wipe it first. Use the dry wipe. Take the dust absorber. I don't think I need the uh, guide sticker there because I'm pretty good in setting my screen protector. I think I need a microfiber. Shoot, I see another dust. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's turn it on and test the screen. It's taking so long, okay. Not bad. Here's my screen protector. I think I put it very crooked but I think you can't really see it so I am very happy with my purchase screen protector is really reasonable it's 10 bucks and it looks like it's going to protect my phone in the next four months so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much um, stay healthy I hope you have a wonderful day and night and I'll see you on my next one bye